Welcome to my advanced Tinkercad modeling instructional series. I've been using Tinkercad for almost 10 years and have taken it about as far as it can go before moving on to other CAD programs, such as Fusion 360 and Blender. But I still use Tinkercad to make some amazing models. These are a few examples of projects I've made completely using Tinkercad. There are already a zillion basic modeling tutorials online, so in this series, I'm showing you some advanced tricks if you want to take this program to its limits. In this episode, we're going to create custom-shaped curved shields. Tinkercad is great for making geometric shapes, but not so great for making curved objects. Here's a trick I've been using for producing curved shapes such as this fender shield seen on my ATST models, which were made 100% in Tinkercad. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to make a curved shield similar to this. Now you can't do this with the native tools in Tinkercad. So we're going to draw out vectors to make this possible. So I am in Corel Draw. You can do this also in Inkscape, Illustrator, whatever you like to use. All right, so I'm going to start right there with a Bezier tool to draw this curve. And I need to make this thicker. I'm going to, ah, that's too thick. I'm going to make this about a 16 point line. Yeah, let's make it maybe a little thinner. Let's do 14. Okay, so here, this dictates the curve. We are going to convert this to an object. We're going to make this a hairline. We're going to turn off the fill. Okay, here's our object. There's our side curve. I'm going to, as best I can, match the height of this and we are going to draw the shape of the shield I think I'll do something like this I'm not trying to make this exact I'm just trying to give you a little example here let's close off that line okay so we have the shape of our curve, the profile, oops, the profile of the curve, and then we need to make a cookie cutter. So I'm going to grab another instance of this, duplicate it, bring it out over here, and I'm going to make a cookie cutter out of this. Let's make this a larger area. Okay, so we have these three shapes. I'm going to copy these guys, open a new project. I'm going to increase my page setup here a little bit. We're going to paste those objects. Okay, so one at a time. I'm going to save these out as SVG folders. So we're going to save as... I'm sorry, SVG projects. So up here we have SVG. So this will be called Shield 1. Control Z, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get the next shape. And we're going to call this one Shield 2. Make sure that you're saving out as SVG. And Shield 3, which is our cookie cutter.
Okay, so let's go ahead and start up a new folder in Tinkercad. Actually, I'm just going to use this guy here. We're going to move him out of the way and start from scratch so I can show you. Import button. We're going to choose our files. And we can only choose these one at a time. So here's Shield 1. We're importing this 100% scale as artboard. And we'll do this for all three objects. Shield 2. And shield cookie cutter. Okay, let's go ahead and turn all of these objects up 90 degrees. Just find it easier to work with when it's oriented like this. Okay, and then this guy, we actually need to flip him around or uh, 90 this way and we're going to push him out like so okay so this is going to be in the center of this plane so we're going to align it in the middle, and then again in the middle. The cookie cutter is going to be stretched out. So what we're doing now is cutting off the edges of this curve with this cookie cutter. So I'm going to shrink my cookie cutter down by just a little bit so that I can cover all the edges. Let me turn it into a hole so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. So I am covered up left, right, top, and bottom. And I'm going to select both objects. Group. Okay, there is your finished shield. This is just a really quickie tutorial, but it gives you the basics on what you can do by importing an SVG vector as a curve and then another SVG vector as its shape cutter. And there you go. You can make little curved pieces to your heart's content. I used these same exact principles to make a piece like this. This is one of the fenders for the uh, Return of the Jedi ATST, so you can see where that piece lives right here. This entire thing, by the way, was all done in Tinkercad, every single piece. So this fender, same principle, uh, we start with a vector drawing. Just kind of draw a straight line here and then I think there's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a hump or something here then it goes to a curve I don't know something like this all right same thing boy this is sloppy but this is just for this example I'm gonna make this a let's make it a, again it's Let's do a 14 point stroke. In Corel, anyways, we turn this into a object and we take away its fill. We export this object again as SVG data and we import vendor. We turn this so we can work with it 90 degrees. Widen this out. So there's your, your basic 
building blocks for doing your custom shapes. I've got uh, ridges on it, so I think what I did is I duplicated it. What did I do? I think I, I kind of elevated it. I brought a subtractive box. This is for making like a, a raised detail on the edges here a border ridge. I'm going to go ahead and center this real quick. And we are going to subtract this box from the green. So that you, you get the idea. You can just keep playing with these shapes. I'll have other tutorials that show you some more finer detail and more granular detail, but you get the impression of what you can do very quickly and simply in Tinkercad using extruded vectors. Thanks for watching this series. Feel free to leave a suggestion for future content in the comment section. If you find these tutorials helpful, Consider hitting the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when future content goes live. Thanks for watching.